Yeah, Glenn and Lou, they are getting this information out to families beginning when the child is a newborn. I'm talking about the maternity ward. They are getting a swag package here at LA County USC from LA Unified, a family I just spoke to who has a three-year-old that was born here. So they think it's a great idea because their child's special needs. So because of that, they were connected with LA Unified programs at a very young age and said it's been really helpful. So they think it's a great idea. For us, when they when we the baby born, they give you they talk about the program. We never say no. Okay, okay, we can try it because if they give a help for us. Like I think it's very important. Uh, yeah. LA Unified facing a projected 30% decline in enrollment over the next 10 years, according to the LA Times. They start this new campaign to recruit prospective students, you could say from the get-go, when they are newborns. They're now giving new parents in the maternity ward at LA County USC Medical Center, LAUSD swag and information, calling it the Born to Learn cam campaign. The premise is a simple one. Let's make early connections, meaningful connections with children and the parents of prospective students in our community. Let's bring to the mothers and the fathers and to the children educational opportunity, information, education and resources. The superintendent announcing the program yesterday and showing off the care package parents will receive with LAUSD branded gear like a beanie, a onesie, a bib, and a blanket. But also in that package will be information that lays out developmental milestones, a congrats letter on behalf of the district, and instructions on when to enroll children in early education as soon as age two, along with a pitch for those five to 18, touting LA Unified's various programs, including STEM magnets and dual language schools. LA Times reports LAUSD faces an expected enrollment decline of about 3% a year, making it harder to keep all district schools open and programs running. Back out here live, the superintendent says while there they're starting here at LA County USC. Their hope is to expand to all of the hospitals in the community that they serve. And he also noted that this is not at all taxpayer funded, but funded entirely through philanthropy and other private sources. For now, that's the latest live in Boyle Heights. I'm Lauren Lister. I'll send it back to you.